Listen, Eve, I created an interest in Forex trading in 2019 December, immediately after finishing my Form 4. I got someone to take me through Forex around 2020, tried a lot of people to teach me, even others are famous, they scammed me. You understand? Scam, being scammed is part of the game, so don't complain. I was scammed. And it's people, part of the journey. And those people who scammed me, they're driving bigger cars than mine and they're my friends. You understand? They're my close friends. I tell them, you know, you showed me the streets and how to survive in the streets. They searched a, a, a Demio car. I have a Mercedes. Why can they confirm the ownership of the Mercedes? Why can they confirm the ownership of the Audi? Because maybe they checked and realized these things are under my name, so they could not post that. They checked the one that was not under my name and I bought that car under pressure since I wanted to do with it something. Right now, let them confirm whether it's under whose name is it. Maybe it's not my name, but it's one of my family members' name. You understand? So, if where is the problem of I owning a car which I bought on higher purchase? Where's the problem? How much is the deposit to buy a Mercedes? It's like two million. You understand? Imagine paying two million. You need to fuel that car. You need to service it. You need to change its tires. You need to maintain that car generally. You understand? Is in that money? Is in that money? Why should Kari reach out to me? I don't work in this country. You understand? Me don't work in this country. I don't. I don't have anything associated to the government. I even hear the government in Askia rumors. I don't know anything concerning the Kenyan government. So there is nobody has reached out to me from uh, Kari, because uh, I know I'm clean. That is number one. Number two, the six million was just peanuts. You understand? Eh? That was money I was just paying for my car at the yard. That didn't mean the limit of whatever I have. I have more. So you recently got your car? I got my car recently. It's like three or four days old. Oh, yeah. an Audi. So you have to pay for your car? Yes, it's not a car. It's not a car. It's not a car. Hello guys, it's Mungai Eve. Welcome to the Mungai Eve show and of course you're the number one online TV show. And guys, today I'm coming to you uh, with one of the youngest and the richest. Unajitanga youngest, unajitanga uh, Youngest Kenyans. Youngest sponsor, exactly. Anajulikana kama Kenyan Prince. I don't know why Anajita youngest sponsor. Uh, Toko to kipiga shuri nae kidogo. We've been seeing him go around. Uh, Juzi ya metupustia wa akiwa na 6 million guys. Wa uko na 6 million. Venye ikono miningumu. Kamata ni mtafute pengine tukimaliza tania check kidogo. Anyway, Kenyan Prince, uko aje? Kwa salama. Mini kopua, hao matu. Guys... Uh, in case maybe video mta sikia sauti yangu kiwa sijia aji ni homa. Anyway, uh, Kenyan Prince, abu tuambie, jina yako ni gani? Naitua Raymond Omosa. Ama Kenyan Prince, ama yangi sponsor, ama baddest. Aish, uko na hiki ye mingi. Uh, Tunakujua kama youngest, uh, youngest sponsor ama Kenyan Prince. Youngest sponsor li toka wapi? Okay, like uh, before, before I even became famous or rather your fame kidogo, before I even uh, started my social media platforms, mm -hmm. I, I had a life eh, where I was suffering. <laughs> and one thing I knew is that I wanted, I wanted people to smile. I always, I earned four times I could at least smile a day. So I said, whatever I want to do in life, eh, I, I, I want to I wanna, I wanna ensure someone smiles. So I got the name sponsor with a major purpose of making people smile. So I wanted to sponsor smiles on people's faces. Mm -hmm. That was my pure intention. Like, maybe whatever I wanted me, the, the, the sponsor name Sina Pesa, I just related it to smiles and I can say, ah, I'll sponsor smiles on people's faces for free with my content. Mm -hmm. That is, I call myself Kenya's Young Sponsor. Okay, so back then, the content gun in Doluku Kifanya? Doluku Kifanya Lavi Davi. I used to do couple goals. So in that time? That, uh, that time when I was beginning, yes. That's when you, became, you came up with that name? Yeah, that is when I came up with that name, with z zero followers everywhere. Ah. Yeah. So it was not about uh, money or anything? It wasn't about money. I had no money at the back then. That was around 20, 2020. Mm -hmm. I, had no t I didn't even have a bob, even my rent, even food. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Even clothes. Ah. Nothing. What about Kenyan Prince? Where did it come from? I, I was trying to figure out which name I'm going to call myself on social media. And the name that came earlier was Kenyan Prince. And you know, on social media, most platforms, then I was like, I'm doing couple goals, and I need a name to call my now family at that particular time. And I was like, okay, 
Prince family. And since I have the Kenya as youngest sponsor then, why not a Kenyan prince? And that is why I came up with the name. Yes. Wow. Okay, uh, before maybe we continue, you can tell us, you know, back in 2020, okay, I also started content in 2020, but I was content, but I was able to do you know what, uh, let me start uh, this thing, I was able to do it. Oh, actually, it was in 2020, it was 2021, April. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time I did a video was 2021, the 5th of April. Mm -hmm. So, uh, starting content was like I had nothing in life, and I used to ad admire the Amor family mm -hmm. and the Bahatis. Yeah. <laughs> so these guys, I used to watch their content, the Bahatis and the Amor family, and they used to inspire me. And I was trying to figure out in which way I'm going to make people smile. Then I was like, this is a nice content, I want to copy paste. And that is I got myself into doing couple goals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So, of course, ukiko inspired kufanya kitu. Unasama sana it's about smile and everything. Uh, like, why you uluku na joe ni mfani ama ima mwe yakume kwa tuwa smile nini uluku ina inspire. You know, it's not everyone who is uh, concerned about making maybe people who are around you to smile or be happy, you know. Since my pure intention was to make people smile, so you know, these couple things, all of them are scripts. You know that. So, we, I used to come up with scripts that I will know they end up leaving people happy. Yeah, so my scripts were kind of creative. Those what do you mean all uh, All these things are just scripted. Let's be realistic. Eh? All these things are just scripts, and you all know that. So we used to script something that could at least make people smile. I could have pranked in as a 20 minutes, come as scripts. Uh, and your drama is going to talk outside the area of action. One in your shoot as a prank place to Moja. Why watch a banner? It's on scripts. So, uh, Jenny Akona Kukwa Kufanya content ya Kapogol. How do you define it? Naili Kuaje, you know, we used to watch you guys all in Akirubo until Ikafika Mahali, you guys uh, went separate ways. How was the journey in the beginning? I don't regret anything. I'm really proud of her. I can say she built me to some extent, eh? and I can say the, the fact that I made a decision to settle at a young age gave me that room to develop myself, to improve on my status, because I knew at least there is someone I'm struggling for. You know, when you have a girlfriend, you have that pressure to work, and she was a mature girl. She, 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 she helped me to know how to plan myself out. She even helped me in terms of um, managing my finances. So a little idea in terms of growth, she made me to avoid the, the peer, you know, the, the teens. I didn't get myself into so many stuff. So you guys met when you were how old? I was, I was, I was 18 then. I was, I was 18 then, and then, yes. So, yeah, it, it, Lini's idea in terms of growth, it was a nice journey. Though kuna kuanga na differences, ups and downs in every relationship, it, it helped me grow. That's what I can say. Yeah. But uh, what exactly happened to, uh, for you guys to come up with a decision to separate? You know, it's not easy, especially you guys being a familiar face. Uh, familiar faces to us, to me was who watch online. Uh, of course, you had a, in Etongwaje, you had a community that you had already built. Unajua kuna watu maybe mliacha wamekuwa ruzu. Wamekuwa ruzu wana story yenu, you know. I'd like to know what exactly happened. So, actually, we didn't uh, break up long ago. I know people know that we, we did it long ago, yeah. but we've been together up to recently. It's like a month since we decided to path away. Not even a month, like three weeks mm. since we path away. So, sometimes... Wait. But to me, she kuona nyimu liyacha na sujui lini kitambo. Because social media, we decided to do different content. We were uh, featuring into different things. We needed to make more money. So you lied. You know, we want social media to make money. Everyone is, you're online to make money. And we are here for business, and we need to make it business. You understand? Eh? So we did uh, break up recently, and uh, you know sometimes when you get money and you have never had money, una changa nikiwa kidogo. In the process, kila mtu alikuwa na kiburi. Nobody was willing to come down. And yeah, that is how it happened. 
kila mtu akaenda njia yake. I know most people will be shocked because sisi tunajua ngamlea hata na kitambo na pia watu walikuwa wana feel ni kama wewe ndio ulikuwa on the wrong. Watu wanasema pale TikTok niko naona what you treat poor, bara wako na una cheat. Vitu kama hizo there are so many accusations. So you want to tell us maybe those things that maybe you used to do zenye wa Kenya walikuwa na feel unafanya unamkosea zilikuwa tu script pia. Before most of them were scripts but later some of them were true. Uh, of what course, do you mean by before enough? Uh, before, okay, before I mean like when you guys were thinking we were broken up and yet we were still together, uh, those were assumptions. You see, those were assumptions. People were thinking and were imagining. Then later when we broke up, I can admit to some of them being true and some of them being rumors. But you know, if everyone has their downfalls and uh, at some point in the Anamka Sindio, so it, it, it left a lesson in my life. I learned something from that, and it's something I will never like to repeat again. Mm. So you want to tell us that you guys just broke up the other day, like three weeks ago or a month ago? Yeah, it's not more than a month, a month ago. Mm. Oh, so uh, do you guys have plans of coming, uh, getting back together, and especially to doing a couple of things? Honestly, we, we, we cannot get back together. Mm. I'm, um, personally, let me not talk of uh, someone else. Personally, I'm even having plans of moving on. Nangoja Tuni Hill. So don't expect us back together. It's never happening. Why is that? Because I've made a decision, it's never happening. I'm so bad when it comes when, uh, to making decisions. So, uh, uh, for the period that mekua pamoja na sima ni period how long and how many times maybe mekua mkiachana mna ya na mkiachana ama hamjawai kuachana? We've been together since April 4th, 2021. Uh, to, to recently, when I've told you, uh, like a month ago, I don't know ni period ya how long. And uh, yes, kwa kila relationship tu, kuna ups and downs, but at today ya chana ile ya, ati tuko separate, tumeachana for long. Uh, it has never happened. It happened for the first time and I feel like we're done, we're just done. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, Kenyan Prince, you're really confusing us because uh, we were the same person that we got to story. a lady called Cindy. Pale kwenye TikTok, meyongelelewa sana. Unasema venye, I don't know how to put it in a good way. How you guys uh, slept together. <laughs> how you guys slept together and everything. Uh, do you want to tell us that you guys was, you were still in a relationship and you could come out and proudly say such things? Uh, that has been so recently. That, is a, uh, that has been like a week ago. So, you know, when I was in a relationship, there were things I was controlled. There was a limit I had. There is a way I could not come out to people. You understand? Kuna vipindi singeweza kufanya, kuna mbuembo singefanya online. You understand? But, 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 but right now there is no one who is controlling me. I'm, I'm, I'm in a free ranch. I can do whatever I want at any time. What is the problem of sleeping with Cindy? She's a woman like another. You understand? Let people stop judging. She's more better actually than these other ladies and women who are making noise like dogs everywhere. Unwana? Hey, at least she has come out clear and said that she, this is the work she's doing for a living. A lot of women out here are doing uh, prostitution for a living, but they are just hiding it and they go ahead and abuse such a lady online. You understand? So, me doing the unexpected, I know it's so many people didn't expect me to do this, but me doing the unexpected, not that I'm foolish, I'm smart than these people. That is why they are there to watch me, actually. You understand? Will they be smart? Then I could be the one watching them. So what watch a quite judgmental, and Cindy is a woman like another, and uh, nobody controls me who to sleep with and who to not to sleep with. Let's come. What's that? We can't talk about when out because of the money. Uh, you were called out by her for not paying her. Uh, the amount that you guys had agreed. What can you say about that? Of course, we know uh, you have money. Why didn't you pay for the services? Uh, okay, later, there, there, there came a lot of confusion. Eh? After we are done, whatever we are done, if we did it, eh? there came in a lot of confusion. You know, she's, uh, she, she, she's another stupid person, I can say. So she decides to go on social media and say things that never went down. Eh? But at the same time, I went ahead and paid her. To cut the long story short, I paid her the remaining amount, she can confirm. 
I saw you sending her that 500. Yes, yes, yes. How much were you, were you supposed to pay? She said it's 5K. Mm -hmm. So I'd given her 1,000 bob she claimed. Mm -hmm. Then uh, she told me the balance is 3,200 and I paid her. What are the things that you, uh, you're claiming she went to say on social media that didn't go down? Uh, like the agreement in terms of money, that was a lie. Uh, what else? Okay, I cannot say the other information. It's kind of like the things I cannot mention on cameras, you know. Mm -hmm. I also have a name. Mm. But yeah. you, I think you mention everything. I've seen your interviews and you, I, I mean your videos, politics, so you just say anything, no, no. anytime, anywhere. No, 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 no. Sometimes I have limits to whatever I'm saying. Maybe those times I'm high or something, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. So this Cindy thing, which was not maybe cloud, uh, cloud chasing, there's some people as well who felt like, But uh, that one doesn't have anything to do with anyone. Whether ni kipindi, whether ni real, it got me views, good numbers. That was my goal. Uh, the destination is my, my, what concerns me. The path, I don't care. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, you and being named a scammer because I am a Kuangayan Kenyan prince, my friend, run. Usi walk, run. <laughs> I'd like to know uh, your journey is a forex trader, Ilian Zalini, and uh, how is it right now? Do you still trade? I'm an affiliate Mahali, I'm in a Kuaju. Listen, Eve, I created an interest in forex trading in 2019 December immediately after finishing my form for. I got someone to take me through Forex around 2020, tried a lot of people to teach me, even others are famous, they scammed me. You understand? Scam, being scammed is part of the game, so don't complain. I was scammed. And it's people, part of the journey. And those people who scammed me, they're driving bigger cars than mine and they're my friends. You understand? They're my close friends. I tell them, you know, you showed me the streets and how to survive in the streets. Cutting the long story short, I, 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 I started trading around 2021. Not actually trading, but gambling, because I didn't understand what I'm doing. So I was trying my luck. But I really wanted to understand the charts. You understand? Eh? I traded for the longest time till I bought my first car that was a Subaru G4 without telling anyone that I'm a Forex trader. Now, everyone is interest came out to ask me, what are you doing for a living? You understand? That is when I decided to just come out and tell people that I'm a trader. Mm -hmm. By that time, were you still doing the YouTube thing? I'm I was a... doing the YouTube thing. I was on TikTok. I was just playing a low-key life. Okay. Then now it becomes a concern from my fans. They want to understand what I'm doing for a living. And that is when I came out and told them, now, whatever I'm doing for a living is Forex trading. And Forex is somewhere you can invest your money and multiply it into even millions as long as you have the skill in the shortest period of time. You understand? So, I think in the process, you know, people will listen to you. People will invest their money. If they lose it in the market, they'll come back and refer to you as a scammer. Mm -hmm. okay. How would you define your journey? Because as well, I know uh, forex trading is not a bad process. It, it, it has been a process. You understand? Like if I created an interest in 2019, and you see my fruits are coming out right now, you can see how long I've taken before I've really become a profitable trader. Mm -hmm. So... It has been a struggler's journey. Imagine going to TikTok lives, begging for gifts, then you lose them in trading. You go to your girlfriend, you tell her to give you money to invest in trading, then you lose the money. And that girl is looking up to you. You understand? It has been a struggle. And I can say it has been a struggle. But one thing I can tell people, as long as you trust the process and you stay consistent, you're going to be there sometime. Yeah, it has been a hard experience. It has been tough. But finally, I'm here. I would like to know, why is it that you guys don't show uh, the fans or the people uh, the hard part about it? Of course, me, I know Forex is not easy because I have so many friends who does it. And I know it's a process. So of course, there are those uh, fruits that you guys are um, shanga, But I'm um, is the tough side. Why is that? I've been holding live, live trading sessions for the longest time, like six months. I've been losing money on live. You understand? Every time I'm live, I tell people Forex is not a get rich, uh, quick, uh, a quick get, get rich scheme or whatever. But people don't want to listen. It's people who don't want to check in the information. Instead, they're focusing on the, the, on, the, on, the, on the side that we're now successful. You understand? People are focusing on my cars. People are focusing on my lavish life. Eh? They are avoiding to listen to the part that Forex is not an, an, an easy task, like an easy game. 
like another business there is nothing that is easy you need to work you need to learn you need to understand whatever you're doing i tell people that every time if other people don't tell them my fans can honestly admit in this comment section that i usually tell them all the time that it's not easy for you to make money yes there is good money when you understood what you're doing but it's not that easy yeah it's a process yeah. So when did you start maybe uh, getting the profits and umetumeni uh, time ya Subaru when you got uh, a Subaru? Uh, what about uh, recently? Because tumekuwa tukiona wewe ukapata Mercedes mahali and then juzi tumekuwa na pesa 6 million. Unajua? Would we say all that uh, imetoka kwa trading ama pia ni some of the things that you do? Uh, let me tell you something. Before, before, when I, when, I was, when I was dating, now live alone this month. Like I want to talk about life before this month to February. I've been trying accounts. A thousand dollars, I blow. Two thousand dollars, I blow. But I understood myself. I knew I know what I'm doing, but my problem was I had a lot of greed. I need really to make millions from this thing because I want to change my life totally. After I broke up with my girl, I, I, I have totally poor risk management to date, but I've known now what to do with it. So, a month ago when I broke with my girl, something told me it's not time you get money. Don't focus on anything. Don't listen to anything. Just get the money. I, honestly, I didn't have a good capital to invest in trading, but I knew I needed to get people who could get me the capital uh, to invest in trading. I went all the way to the other county, Nakuru County, and got a friend of mine. We sat down and talked. He, dis he, he accepted to deposit $10,000 in his account. You know what I did to the account? I, I made a profit of like $8 million. That is from $10,000. That is one M. $8 million in like three days. So the $8 million were like we were splitting it twice. So the, the capital was his, so we had to break the money twice. So I got my four million, came back to Nairobi, sat down, and yeah, I can say in the last one month I've made money, money like money. I don't want to mention the figures, but I've made. Let's talk about uh, you also being involved in a uh, fake lifestyle, uh, fake nini, kila kitu yani. Unajua kama kujia sayi kuko na truth watchdog na wamulika watu wa forex mna tu mna tuzia wage unatumbia the way you're making money but it's not true mna tuwekea nyumba it's not yours your car is not under your name you know what can you say about that if dogs will bark people will talk but did I come here walking no I came here with an Audi you understand eh I Okay, I, I, I really don't want to argue with people when it comes to whatever I'm owning or whatever I'm not owning. We are in a corrupt country where even if today I buy a piece of land, I'm definitely not going to put it under my name. But I'm not trying to defend myself that the things I own are not under my name. But It has been checked. Some of them, they are not under your name. It is fine. Eh? You, do you have evidence that I don't own them? What if I used my, my, my what if I have another girl and I... Them are under the companies, uh, like maybe uh, the car, there was a time it was being said that the car had the company's name, the company that sells the car, meaning you had not cleared the amount. They searched a, a, a name your car. I have a Mercedes. Why can they confirm the ownership of the Mercedes? Why can they confirm the ownership of the Audi? Because maybe they checked and realized these things are under my name, so they could not post that. They checked the one that was not under my name and I bought that car under pressure since I wanted to do with it something. Right now, let them confirm whether it's under whose name is it. Maybe it's not my name, but it's one of my family members' name. You understand? So if, where is the problem of I owning a car which I bought on higher purchase? Where's the problem? How much is the deposit to buy a Mercedes? It's like two million. You understand? Imagine paying two million you need to fuel that car, you need to service it, you need to change its tires, you need to maintain that car generally. You understand? Is in that money? Is in that money? We have other bills to be, uh, pay. If today I have 10 million, where's the problem of getting a car and I purchase with 2 million and use 8 million for investment elsewhere so that I can get the profit and pay for the car? There is the best way to. Actually, if I get a deposit, a, a car where I can pay a deposit of 100k, I'm going to do that and use the other money for investment or rather for trading because that is what I do. So, before people talk, eh, 
let them get enough information. I've told these guys, like watchdog, if you are a man, why can't we come and meet in person and we confirm to people that whatever you're saying is true? The guys are afraid of meeting me. Imagine a tiny thing like me. That guy is afraid of meeting me. Why? Because he knows what he's saying is pure rumors. Mm -hmm. And if it's so easy to own cars, you work with them, I know that. Did they give you a car? No, brokers don't give out cars. That is what Watch Dog is telling people. That this car belongs to the broker. Which broker will give you two cars in a month? Where well, I, I need one to, to, to have such. I've seen so many people working with brokers and they don't have cars. So uh, those are just but pure rumors. And sometimes, you know, when Africans or other Kenyans we get to poverty, uh, jealousy and such a stuff, you are in your bed sitter. Your curtains ni flag ya Kenya. Imagine someone who has used the Kenyan flag as a curtain and Maasai shukas talking about you being a scammer when you're driving a car worth six million. It doesn't make sense. People should come out and get enlightened. Because even the Bible says, my people perish due to lack of knowledge. Ignorance. Ignorance is what makes, actually, Angalia Kenya. Poor people make up 40 million. People, research showed that people with more than 70,000 in their accounts in Kenya, there are less than 100,000 people. Why? Because people have chosen to follow the ignorant, ignorant part of the story. Focus on the positive side. Come on, Mwizi. Ask me, how are you stealing? Can I also learn on how to steal from people? I'm going to show you, I swear. I have friends who have shown. Well, let me tell you something. I have a friend when he met recently. Actually, when I was getting my car, he got a new car. So, this guy decided to be humble and ask me, what are you doing for a living? Does he really pay? Right now he's driving. I can, I can even confirm that. You understand? So instead of kunifight, jua muweza ni na mimi. Sayi mali ni mefika hata. Si hata mulewa ni lita kiare bado wa meogopa kukuja. Sayi ya muweza ni na mimi. Just join hands with me. Because I'm not going to fail anytime soon. That one I can promise. Okay. What is your take uh, on most people associating forex uh, with scam, especially in our country? Because it's very common. When somebody hears uh, like, hey, you trade, ah, you're a scammer, you know. How, what is your take on that? Most people have used, are now using Forex, even pseudo accounts of Kenyan prince, like 10 of them, DMing people, telling them that I can help you invest in Forex, I'm Kenyan prince, and people fall for those traps. Because people are stupid. When you're there live telling them about something that is legit, since you're not uh, so, so soft on them, you, you don't want to convince them so hard, they'll think now you're the bad one, and the people DMing them are now the right ones. Yes, a lot of people are using Forex, are scamming people in the name of Forex, you understand? Eh? But that does not make Forex a scam. Saying Forex is a scam is being stupid. But saying some people are, using, uh, are scamming people in the name of Forex, then that makes sense. So let people differentiate and know who to trust when it comes to Forex trading, or rather when it comes to you getting the skill on trading. Yes. Uh, maybe as we continue Kenyan Prince, uh, umesema truth watchdog, it's somebody that uh, you wouldn't want even to engage with because umemuita amekata kupatana na wewe. Uh, why were you feeling the urge to meet him? Nini uletaka kumuambia bengi? You know, so th this guy entirely, whatever he was doing, is, uh, was chasing clout. Eh? And now he's tarnishing my name while he's trying to gain his clout. You understand? That, and uh, since, since I listened to my fans much, then I was like, okay. If, if my fans want me to confirm whether I'm a scam or uh, somebody legit, eh, I went ahead and told them, bring 10 or 2 or 3 or 5 people that have scammed in the name of Forex, and that is the money I used to either acquire or whatever I have right now, so that I can refund me. So far, so good. I've not seen anyone who has been brought that you've scammed them in the name of Forex. It's just people talking online rumors. Oh, he scammed me, bring evidence, no evidence. You understand? So... I wanted to meet to, to Watchdog so that I can address my fans. So that I could be bold and show people whether whatever I'm doing is legit or not legit. Because at the end of the day, I'm not here to prove a point alone. I, uh, proving a point wasn't part of my business. Yeah. A day ago, I saw you uh, being exposed on BNN. Uh, and the story was about uh, you and some WhatsApp group. It's that uh, you look on watu, wa create a group, then you know, 20,000 or something. But after maybe you um, create a group, uh, you go missing, you don't pay them. And also, unfortunately, they get banned from WhatsApp. Maybe before you talk about what you want to say, maybe you want to say, WhatsApp group is a Kenyan prince. 
no uh, let one person eh, who created groups and gave me akuja hapa sema nilipe group na siku mlipa no one did but he texted on uh, Edgar Barry's page the story is there I, I know i know i saw the story also okay i have a friend of mine eh, who was like okay Kenyan prince you have numbers and i need whatsapp groups okay what? help me to advertise it actually advertise like oh, okay uh, i need to understand what is the whatsapp group what are the whatsapp group for i'm a brand I can be paid for partnerships. You but you need to understand the kind of partnerships that you're getting in before you put them out to your fans. Okay, I actually never thought that it was, it was a bad deal. So I went ahead and posted, posted whoever can create WhatsApp groups in books on WhatsApp, create your groups, send a screenshot, you'll get paid. You know, Kenyan Prince, you're very, uh, <laughs> you're confusing us. You just, from saying people are ignorant, but now we can say you're as well ignorant. I'm a, because Babu, Listen For you to advertise something, you need to understand it first, and then you advertise it to your fans. So you need to tell us, what are the WhatsApp group for? Listen, listen, Eve. Mimi ni mepata amtu akaniambia. Mimi, I need people to help me create groups. I'm using them for some work or, sa or some stuff. Uh, he actually said he's using it for advertisements with other brands outside the country. You understand? Then I was like, okay, fine. I can help you post that. How much are you paying me? Then we agreed. He paid me and I posted. Mm -hmm. That is what I entirely did. There is nobody. People that you didn't pay, and why were the people being banned by the WhatsApp after uh, trying to create the groups for you? If you do your research, you realize that when you try to create WhatsApp groups with contacts that have not saved you back, you'll get banned. Even if you try right now, you'll get banned. It is a violation on WhatsApp terms and conditions. You understand? So I didn't know at that particular time. So. For that one, I didn't have the information. But later, after they had created the groups and some of them reached out to me and told me that they are getting banned, then I realized it was something bad. I went ahead and deleted the story on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that was not uh, directly your job? That was not, I, I don't even know where to take WhatsApp groups. <laughs> I, even, I, even, I have never even been in a WhatsApp group. I leave them very fast. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about those people who feel like, eh, uli wadanganya, hawa kupata pisa yao, do you see, are you still willing to compensate them? Ama you still really isha Okay, whoever created groups, and they honestly have the groups, they can reach out to me, I'll be in to compensate them. Mm -hmm. mm. But you're paying people 20,000 per head, uh, meaning ulu kumepa pisa mzuri sana kwa yobi ashara? I am not the one paying them, oh, but whoever okay. gave out the job, eh, is, I, I'll talk to him, or rather I can still come in and compensate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, let's talk about uh, the six million. Um, by umekuwa ume, umetembea nayo pale kwenye Instagram, nini, uh, umeflaunt, unajua, na ukasema kiarewa kuje, nini, nini. So far, uh, have you gotten any, maybe uh, you've been reached out to KRA, and also are, are you a citizen who, una, nini? do you file your return? Why should KRA reach out to me? I don't work in this country. You understand? Me <laughs> don't work in this country. I don't, I don't have anything associated to the government. I even hear the government in Askia rumors. I don't know anything concerning the Kenyan government. So, there is nobody who has reached out to me from uh, Kare, because uh, I know I'm clean. That is number one. Number two, the six million was just peanuts. You understand? Eh? That was money I was just paying for my car at the yard. That didn't mean the limit of whatever I have. I have more. So you recently got your car? I got my car recently. It's like three or four days old. Oh, yeah. An Audi. So ile pesa ilikuwa ya kununua gari. Eh nilikuwa ya hiyo nilikuwa nalipa. Nilikuwa nimetoka hivi ku withdraw. But what was the need to show it to the uh, internet? Uh, watu wanasema pesa haiunge, ange ipigange kelele. Inamaanisha ni siku ya kwanza kuishika hata sio yako unajua. Pesa iko inapiga kelele. Hiyo ndio kitu wa Mungu ona. I'm the one who was making noise. And I've been making noise. When I was in a bed sitter, I said this recently on an interview. I was making noise. I was showing off that bed sitter. I was showing off my old bags, my poor shoes, my bad hair, everywhere. Why don't you want me to show my life out here right now when I made it? You only weave. No, no, you. You only weave, maskini, na anja, ukichanganya bed sitter na single room pipeline. Inaka motive. Sasa, wawu naanza kuona. Mina ambienga watu tafta pesa usione, ni kama ati mina brag. Si brag, ni vile tu, te mlikuwa na techno, nilikuwa na shoot na, nilikuwa na onyesha, ni techno. Sawa, nikiwa na 15 Pro Max, na shoot na, na onyesha ni 15 Pro Max. This is how God has blessed me. And let me tell you something. 
when I bought a Mercedes, they were like bragging a lot. You know, the first one to have a Mercedes, eh, nini, taenda, nini. Nikaificha mwezi moja, they were so happy making noise all over. Oh, Gary, meenda. Nikairudisha psycho parking. You understand, eh? Eh, what a sort of nini will come down. But who is God? My God is so faithful. He decided, let me ashamed them another time. I got an Audi. You understand? I am a strong believer. I am a Seventh-day Adventist believer. I survived by faith. So, I ashamed them another time. So, you know, I pick a little fake lifestyle. Nanu arrange. Nami wambia, before I even buy them, I usually tell them. I told them I'll get a Mercedes. I got it. I said I'll get a Panamera, but instead I got an Audi. Because I didn't get a version of whatever I needed. So, right now I'm getting arranged. Like it or not. Yeah, I'm getting arranged. I mean, uh, you just do these things to show people, you know what, Mungu uh, I'm doing a good life. It's not about bragging. We just It's a way of maybe uh, being grateful to your God. Exactly. I'm not bragging. I'm not a bragger. Whoever knows me on a personal level thinks this is a chokora. Honestly, ask anyone who has met me on a personal level. Even them, they know. They usually say I dress, uh, my dressing code is worth 250. I don't know what. But I don't like being complicated. I'm just being proud of my God. If I have achieved something, I'm there, I'm grateful. I'm, I'm showing people that it's possible. I'm posting to show the young people that you know, you can do this. The age does not matter. The decision you make is what determines where you will be in a year or two or three. Yes. Tuliona ingine masimu, ukiwa pale street kama ilikuwa ni tau na mani wapi. Unawanyesha zile masimu kwa nazo, nini. Uh, maybe, kama ile, nikisikiza, there's some language that uh, ulitumia pale. Uh, mtu waneza feel like, hey, this guy, ako, anongia, anongia vibaya, anabrag and everything. Could we say maybe the language that you choose when you're communicating, ama when you're passing the information that you want to pass is wrong? Mini mkisi, asira inakuanga juu. Sometimes my language is bad, but I know where to go and apologize, not before people. We all get emotional. Mkini tusi comment section. Do you usually mind your language? No. So, I too get emotional like another person. For all I've sinned and fallen short of God's glory. Even me I sin. And I later on repent. So, you ni asira at that time in a comment fikisha hapo. And it's, I don't do it for purposes of... I do it for purposes of telling you to wake up, bana. Wacha kukua umbua, wacha kukua mjinga. I just said umbua. Umbua is not a bad language. You are a dog. Like your reasoning is like a dog. You need to wake up and do something constructive with your life. That's all I mean. Nothing much. And Prince, umetaja kitu ukasema ati watu kwa comment section nini. I didn't think maybe somebody like you would bother what people say on the comment section. Does it mean it bothers you? People talking on the comment section is my concern. I should consider what these people are saying. For me to know what to post next, I usually consider the comment section. So I'll go to the comment section. Oh, you Mercedes itaenda. So I hide my Mercedes. Or rather, I do something to show them that, you know, it's not here. You know, you're usually told, eh? for you to live the easiest life, give people what they want to hear. Yeah. Unana? So I usually do what they want to hear. I exactly do what my fans want to hear. And that is what has contributed to my growth. Yeah. You as Kenyan uh, Prince, what is your plan when it comes to content creation and everything? And also, uh, do you as well do the trainings, the forex, am I just unafanyanga uh, tu live? Do you do the physical ones? Uh, for the longest time, I'd stopped training people in trading. But right now, my DM is flooded. And since I know I'm created with a good heart, I'm going back to offering classes. Eh? What I was saying to me, classes in Anilipa, I'm good. But I'm going back to offering classes at 20,000. So whoever is interested, another DM will advertise. So I, I had stopped. Eh? But I realized at the end of the day, I consider that there are people who want to learn how 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 to So I do. I do offer classes right now. Yeah. For somebody to be a great trader and um, to be a great Anafa kukuja classes zako kama marangapi, unajua? Jumutu atakuja na 20k, alafu ende anze, alafu aseme, unajua nini mini liskamiwa, you know? Personally as a trader, I call a, uh, someone a trader when they have come up with their own strategy. Right now I have my own strategy, that is where I got the name Badest, and that is what I'm giving to people. That is what I'm entirely training in class. So I'll give you my strategy, you're the one to go and expand it, do research about it, 
back test it and realize what it, whether it fits you to trade, adjust on wherever it needs to be adjusted, then you can now call yourself a trader. So at least mimi kitu nimefanya ni kwa simplify your content. Si acha kuna content ya trading kila mali. it's all over online even on YouTube. So I've just simplified it for you. I'm giving you an easy technique for you to go and uh, approach this market. So that is what I'm entirely giving people. So the rest is their work. To do more research about the market, I'm not telling people that you're coming here to become a millionaire. I'm only offering the skill. You're the one to know where to apply the skill. Yeah. The question that most of the people ask, uh, if, you, uh, if you are trading, and you are making good money, like you, umetuambia vinyuma koki make pesa and everything, tunaona pia na lifestyle ambao na ishi. Why is the urge to start our classes uh, to get paid maybe 20,000 bob, you know, and you can make millions by, by trading yourself? I've talked about that. I'm doing that to help. I'm helping. If I'm honestly telling you the truth, I'm helping. I swear before God, that God I believe. Right now, I'm doing classes for purposes of helping people. I don't have problems when it comes to finances, right now as I'm speaking. But since at the same time I cannot waste my time, I'm sitting in class for two hours. And you need to know, somehow money makes people to know I'm getting focused to whatever I'm doing. I really want to do this. If I say I'm offering classes for free, everyone is going to come. Even someone who wants to eat food without even going to class, they're going to report. But if someone commits themselves to pay the 20,000, you will know these people are focused and they're determined to get whatever they want. 20,000 is just $150. Blowing $150 in a forex market is not even one second and you don't have the account. You understand? Eh? So $150 is nothing. Like na it's like someone who doesn't have anything. So it is, it is, actually it's not for everyone to join. It's for a few people. The rich must always be few. What you are question, Magari, you are not going to win. When you are not driving, you are not. Yeah. What do you think about our our society or in Kenya? Ukiangalia forex, uno na chunele kia wapi. Of course, it's becoming popular. Uh, there are some people who understand it. There are people who are willing also to understand. But when I saw my fika and people who won't view it as scam, so many people will be investing in it. We're getting there. We're getting there. We, we, some of us are getting connections, some of us are getting stability, some of us are getting momentum where we're going to write those logbooks in our names. I'm going to have 20 cars written under my name Raymond. And all people will be like, no, it's real. We're getting there. We're headed in the right direction. What I like is the young people don't be left behind. Because I've seen more old people investing in trading than even the young people. So the young people kindly don't be misled and be left behind. There are people misleading you, but at the same time they are attending classes. If you go to Mool FX, people are attending classes. I usually, it's, it's for Pluto, it's my friend. I go there, you find people in class, you understand? Eh? If you go to these traders, there are people learning and they are seriously learning, you understand? Eh? So let, no, let you guys not be misled and keep on singing the forex is a scam note until you realize everyone made it and you left there. So let it be a personal decision. Okay. Yeah. Would you say probably maybe uh, young people are not getting uh, to the uh, forex industry because of maybe the capital? You know, the old people have the money uh, to uh, start, you know, the capital. No, people are just getting excuses. If I was a street kid in 2020, I used to sleep outside. Uh, 2021, my girlfriend, my ex, my ex put me in a house for like a year. Today, where am I? I'm living in my house, driving my cars. Why? I knew what I wanted. I worked towards it. I didn't get an excuse. You understand? If you, if, if you really need something, you'll do everything it will take you to, 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 to have that money for you to start your journey in either trading or whatever you want to invest in. So let people not find excuses. At your sina pesa, oh, sina capital, sina juin, ini pesa classes. Those are just by lame excuses. Yeah conclude our Kenyan Prince, what did you tell to your fans and also maybe to people who feel like we uh, are Maybe I'm not here to prove a point to anyone. And in a joke, I'm not to hate fans in denial. I'm also an independent in denial. Jumbona am many follow. If at all I'm independent, I'm independent content. I'm going to pick up two million views now one day. Niju, they know very well whatever I'm doing, they are really admiring it but they don't have an approach to be there. 
So it's time these people stop all this negativity, focus on the positive side, try to at least ask for some of us to share ideas with them so that they can get themselves better. Now what were trade? If you want to get Forex, what trade? Forex is going to pass. Kila mtu mwenye napendo, wako sangi watu, wanda chukiu, wako sangi pia watu wana mpenda. What would you tell to your fans who also love you, they watch your content, show love, they're interested to know what you do? Me really appreciate for the support. There is no fan I hate, ata my haters. I really love my haters because they have really contributed to a bigger part of my growth. My growth has been so fast because kuna haters ni wengi unaona kuna watu unakuza content una struggle nini but ukipata hate ukipata hate ile time uko na hate hiyo sign ndio unachemka unapostiwa Kenyan man plants millions huku unapostiwa malnourish trader huku unaambiwa the scammers scammed people you understand, you understand right? that is what uh, the gobare posted that malnourish trader so what I I'm malnourished. I'm malnourished because I don't have food. I do, uh, no, I, do, I don't have time to, to, to take care of myself. I'm stressing out on bigger projects, man. You I'm focused. You shouldn't be stressed. I'm focused on investments. <laughs> so I'm going to invest. 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 I'm going back in his hometown in Nazareth who am i who am i man mimi lazima mtani reject lakini i'm here to stay eh come on angoza let a pay bill wongo Thank you so much, Kenyan Prince. Uh, it's been an amazing episode. Uh, guys, make sure you go to uh, the social media platforms. Show him some love at Kenyan Prince on all social media platforms. And also make sure you share this video. You subscribe. Uh, we meet the next one. Bye-bye.